Mm. Why are you here? What's happening? What's going on? Well, this is, um, this is real. That's real sweat. Um, this is uh, Gladiator Boot Camp. So this is where we're, we've got a month to kind of learn how to fight and um, get all our injuries out of the way, basically. I started yesterday and my buttocks are killing me so far. Um, and yeah, I think we've got a month of it, so I hope I'm still here at the end to shoot this uh, TV show. <laughs> and you coming in next, and you guys. Just prior to coming into the, doing the filming for the series, we were required to do a six-week boot camp, uh, which was called Gladiator Boot Camp. They say, are oh, you flying next week to Gladiator Camp? I say, Ooh. how hard can it be? Oh. Rob Tabbitt had um, said to us that he wanted lean and mean, so basically that's what we went out to do, cut down people's body fat um, and, and lean them up or, you know, as much as we could in that time. A series like this is all about movement, it's all about athleticism, it's all about strength and fitness and training. We're very actively involved in, in, in maintaining our physicalness because it's a very demanding series on that, in that regard. We are gladiators! I would say this is probably one of the more intense boot camps uh, anyone could ever attend. Um, four hours a, a day. Um, quite challenging. I think probably more challenging initially because no matter what you're coming from, even as an athlete, to take on something new, fighting with swords and shields and spears and whips um, involves the use of a whole different sort of skill sets and muscle groups. That was hell. These guys are doing it with uh, punishment vests on. It's got 20 kilos worth of extra weight, so, so all that with 20 kilos extra. The whole sort of training uh, program that was set up was pretty intense. It was hard, you know, like after the first week, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't count to 10 or do anything. I was just gone. Oh, I, I can't move at the end of the day. So. <laughs> well, you know, we had to kind of get, get in shape. And so one way to do that is to train more and eat less. Four of those a day. Um, quite a few bananas. I don't know what's in them. Protein. What else is in these things? I don't really know. I'm just drinking them. We've got like um, everything in here that'll probably make a horse when a um, when a track meet. 42 and grams of protein. 42 grams of protein and a few bits and bobs of carbs, I believe. <laughs> It's the lead actor. Yeah. He loves them. They're going to be good for you. Please give me more. No more food. I hate food. This production's been different uh, in the sense that they've um, given us the time to work with the actors and the stunt guys, um, training them, uh, working on obviously their body, their diet, their um, fighting skills with different weaponries. We were blessed, or are blessed, with probably one of the greatest stunt crews. These guys um, are so experienced and so gentle in their instruction, but unyielding in, in, their <laughs> in their training schedules. We all got together as a bunch of guys, you know, sort of doing fighting and sweating and swearing at each other and going, yeah, well, yeah. And, and it, was, it was a great experience. It took me back to my rugby days where it was kind of like, yeah, the whole team atmosphere. And we all kind of support each other and, and you know, because that's ultimately what we're here for, to kind of gain the most out of it um, for ourselves and each other. But they certainly brought us up to speed and hopefully we've been able to bring that to the work you'll see in uh, the storylines.